Hi, this is Claire again with the cards for the week. As you can see, we are using Modern Witch Tarot. This is very popular in Germany too. So it has many, many fans and people love it. And uh, I always get very nice comments when I use it here. So why don't we use it more often? If we like it, this is our channel, so to say. So these are the cards for the week to come. And this is our, uh, our second reading, so to say, or we have a re let's say it a little bit different in English. Uh, we have this week and next week again, and then I will have my little winter break. So let's enjoy it and have a look at it. And we see here uh, at the first glance, positive cards. So this is wonderful. We had a lot of work to do in the re previous readings, the previous weeks. They were really challenging sometimes. So this week is about clarity at first with the queen of swords and she is about direction she is about um, having a plan she is about making up your mind the swords are the mind energy they are rational thinking they are like uh, planning and things like that it's uh, it's the head energy i always call this so it is not about your feelings so much it is more about what is logical or logical how you say in english <laughs> you will know what i mean it is um Yes, it is really about the mind energy. It's not so much about your feelings or gut feelings or whatever. There's a time for everything in tarot. And this is a time for your mind and for analytical thinking. So she had a really bad rap in the past. This was, uh, when you read uh, older tarot books, the queen of swords was always a bad, uh, I don't know say this word now, <laughs> but you know what I mean. The... Uh, the bad bee, <laughs> so to say. Uh, she was really your your jealous uh, enemy. She was like your mother-in-law. She was uh, your ri rival or rival in law matters of love. She was uh, the cheating one. She was really the baddest person you could think of. And I think this comes from cliches about women, about uh, female energies, about all of this. In the past, they were associated with caregiving with, um, yes, with being emotional, with being non-rational or things like that. And so this was uh, simply seen as an unfemale energy, the swords and the female. So she got like, she was like a, like a failure somehow in this card. And luckily we live today. So this is over and we can appreciate the wisdom and the knowledge and the uh, things women bring into this world and I always think about Athena or Athene in English maybe the goddess uh, when this card shows up because this is really she was not just the goddess of war or something like that a, a, a heroine so to say she was also about uh, teaching people uh, crafts I think weaving comes from her and other arts too so she was really about getting things done and solving problems and practical approaches and this is what this card is about. It can be a real woman. It can be an energy in this week. It can be your inner woman. It can be all three of that. So when I tell these things, it's not just like uh, it is one of them. It can be uh, every part, so to say, in your life. Because often the cards really, they color the week in a way. They give it a certain tone and uh, light blue is very appropriate for this card. So it's not just that this uh, meets you on one level, it can meet you on more than just one level. And do not be surprised if you are not too happy with it in the first moment. So this can be, for example, a friend of you and she's always very honest, she's straightforward and she tells you something as it is and you are like grumpy cat, so to say, in the first moment. So you really think like, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. She's wrong. And um, the next day you are a little bit more clear yourself and you see, no, she's not wrong. I just didn't want to hear it. <laughs> so this is really, um, yes, it's not always easy to hear the advice of this card, but it is so clarifying, yeah? Because uh, we have a saying in Germany, sometimes people smear honey around your mouth. This means they tell you just the good things and you feel good, but it does not help you. It's just to make you happy in a way, maybe also to influence you, but it's not good for you because it's not the truth. It's just honey around your mouth. Yeah, it is not uh, substantial, so to say. It's just to please you. 
and uh, so this card at the first uh, moment it can be challenging it might be that you uh, think like oh when it comes to extremes she's not my friend anymore or something like that but please have a second look at it because what she's saying maybe it just hurts so much because it is so true yeah and you had an idea about things and you had plans and lovely yeah maybe you sugarcoated everything a little bit and things like that and now you see the truth and it's like oh no i don't want to see it and uh, sometimes we blame the um, the person who gives us a message for the message itself so to say so this is typical for this card yeah it's at the first moment that you think oh no and maybe it's also you're in a female uh, queen of swords which is talking to you and you are like Psst, be quiet i don't want to hear this <laughs> uh, it can really go many ways but the effect is always uh, at the end you come back to the clarity and you listen to her and yes you start to make up your mind and you um, one day you will approach it uh, not approach it appreciate it what she said to you so in practical life it's also about getting things done it is the, the typical make you make a list write a list and go step by step through this list this is typical for this card yeah so um, be analytical um, think through the matters at hand and um, don't go too much into feelings feelings are a wonderful advisor sometimes but as i have said it everything has a place in tarot and this is a place of mental and rational thinking or energies yeah it's about really um, not going around things not too fancy it's really straightforward this card so our next card is also very straightforward we here we have the lovely magician and she is about action and action with life um, yeah how you say in english <laughs> standing behind you we would say in german so this means life is helping you life is um it's like it's supporting you it's taking uh, going the path with you it comes to you it helps you so this is about uh, approaching your goals it is about achieving it is about really getting it done and having joy with it and feeling the flow and really being in the flow and everything works out fine and you can do it and it's wonderful it's just a wonderful card to have yeah so i sometimes compare this card to the feeling maybe when you are in an airplane and it starts and there is this moment when it becomes really fast and you are pressed into your seat and you take off and everything is wonderful so this moment just this feeling can be compared to this card it's like life pressing you in your seat and you take off towards your goal and it's this is really um, a good picture for this energy because it really lifts you up it really goes on you really get the solution yeah this is a wonderful card of doing it and uh, this is also in classical tarot it's also associated with the element of air so this is very fitting here it is really a week to think a week to plan a week to analyze and also to do the magician is always about goals achieved and uh, you don't have to do everything on your own there will be lucky coincidences there will be synchronous synchronicities and things like that so it you will be helped this card is also about destiny it is about um, being in in relationship with your will somehow so when it comes to magic what i want to say when it comes to magic, we always have in classical magic, in ceremonial magic, we have the will. And will does not mean I want this, I want that, I want to buy something or something like that. Will means acting in accordance with your fate. It means, um, like for example, in the art of astrology, you try to find out what you were made for, for example, with the stars. And will in the magical sense is something like that. It is acting in a court or in in, um, in um, how you say in english in a good vibration so to say with your destiny you do what you should do in a way with you uh, uh, you do what you are destined to do and you want to do it and therefore this flow exists yeah because you are in alignment this is the word i was searching for alignment you are in alignment with your higher self or however you want to call it your destiny your what you were made for uh, what are your talents 
and all of this yeah the things that make you special the things that you can do and so this is really about being in the flow and achieving things and having a good time also yeah it is a wonderful wonderful card put it in a frame <laughs> on your wall so to say <laughs> yes and here we have another card a very earthy card the uh, pentacles are always münzen as you see in german um, we have these little uh, these little um, cute little uh, how you say buchstaben mm. the things that words are made of we have these little dots <laughs> in german so uh, this is a ü <laughs> münzen <laughs> okay but coming back to the card um, yes, very grounded, the pentacles, element of earth and the four also very grounded. It remi reminds of us of the emperor. The emperor is also the four uh, card of the big arcana and it is also, he has his throne, the throne is set in stone literally. So um, yes, this is a similar energy here. It is very grounded and sometimes people interpret this card as some kind of attachment because the, the coin is held here but in today's life where everything is so fast-paced and where we can lose our ourselves somehow it's really ourselves it's not just our uh, focus but also ourselves in the internet in social media in all of that it is so important to do this so this clinging or um, yes holding tight is a very positive thing to me and it also strikes me that this person is holding this right in front of the solar plexus so you might discuss about chakras or whatever are they real are they not real but the solar plexus is real we, re we really have a, um, an important nerve center really physically in our body at this point so everyone who does martial arts can tell you yes when you kick someone there the person will fall down because there is this nerve center this uh, alignment of nerves in our body so this is a very important thing uh, or place also spiritually because you have in english you have this uh, wonderful word anxiety it's of course it's not wonderful but in german we do not have a word that uh, puts this feeling together so well we need more than just one word to describe what you mean with an anxiety so uh, it is really about this feeling and most people when they feel anxiety they feel it at this point it's at the solar plexus yeah and she shields this and when you have a look at pictures from shamans from eurasia from siberia everywhere they wear their tolly or shaman mirrors or however you want to call them they wear them at this place because it's shields and in the past in european tradition it was also cust uh, customary can you say customary uh, it was uh, people did this <laughs> they had amulets at the haze or at the place of the solar plexus so when we wear um, necklaces today it's a more most often a little bit higher here at the chest but please if you like to and if you want to keep your energy together try wearing an amulet or a little mirror or a stone you prefer like for example amber is wonderful shungit is great hematite is great uh, you could uh, use smoky quartz or whatever you like if you're not so much into stones you could also use a sparkling um, something sparkling to sparkling back everything that is not yours to the person that, uh, that sent it out yeah something like that it does not have to be magical or spiritual in in this way it just has to have a meaning for you yeah so if you want to shield your energy and you want to stay um, focused please do it this week and really use tools because we are here at the uh, element of earth of course so this means doing practical things doing things that are or using things that are tangible it's about real life so to say so keep your energy together this clinging here is a very positive thing and she has the the other um, pentacle is here so this is like a halo somehow she really has her mind together so to say she's very grounded her feet are on these counts coins so this is really getting your things together focusing being yourself again not getting lost yeah when you would like to describe it in a shamanic way 
when we are in the internet and when we are lost somehow in, in Instagram or Snap Snapchat or whatever uh, TikTok people are using today, a lot, or even here at YouTube, you get lost. Your spirit is traveling through these websites or through these apps and your spirit is not sitting into yourself it is like outside yeah your body is like a like a zombie somehow in this moment so you are away in a way and this is about coming into your body again really feeling it and as i always say with the element of earth do things that you prefer that are tangible this can mean good food this can mean a hot bath tube this can mean like getting a massage or making a ground or doing a grounding um, meditation something like that, hugging a tree, whatever you like, whatever really has meaning for you. Some people, they have stones that they really like. For example, I have a big, um, a big smoky quartz that is like, like such size, such a size, and he is polished on one way and uh, natural on the other side. So I like to uh, have it in my hand and uh, with the unpolished side. So this grounds me a lot. So everyone will have his or her own methods. It's not about um, not about doing as others do or things like that and not about imitating this was a word I was searching for it's really about doing what grounds you and what's good for you so when we put these cards together it's a lovely week we really deserve it <laughs> after the readings of the past so um, yes Focus, focus, focus with a feminine energy. Yes, there is a certain elegance to it. It's not the, like the king. The king is sometimes a little bit, uh, the king of swords is sometimes a little bit too cool, too analytical. Yeah, it's like, um, it's too much. Like a, mathemat a mathematics teacher or someone <laughs> like that somehow. So this is, it has a female side, it has a soft side to it, but it is not soft. It is straightforward. It is, um, yes, it's about reaching goals somehow. And it is not about like smearing honey around your mouth. So sometimes you will be angry, sometimes at the first moment at least. Sometimes you will think, oh, no, no, simply no. <laughs> and then next day you will see, well, mm, yeah, okay, okay, that's the truth. I have to deal with it. Yeah. So make a list, make a plan. This is a wonderful week for planning. This is a wonderful week for getting your things done. Uh, for rational thinking, for your mind, it is analytical. Yeah, It's not so much the feelings. It is really about solving things with your mind. Think of Athena. Think uh, of her uh, wisdom and all the wise energy she is incorporating or she is uh, also delivering to us somehow. So you can, of course, if you are... Uh, in this spiritual field, it's always what you prefer. You can work with wisdom deities like her if you like to. There are so many possibilities to the card. Please feel free to use them. Yes, we have so many options. This is the lovely thing about our life today. So the second card, the magician, is really about sitting in a in an airplane and taking off all this energy. Yeah, it is really about taking off, doing your thing. It is the major card for the week. She dominates the other two. They are just like her friends, but she is in the middle. Um, yes, getting things done, being in alignment with your destiny, with life itself as it unfolds right now. It is about getting things done and having joy and really being in the flow. Yeah, this is the lovely doing card in tarot. It's a wonderful card. And she has all the elements at her hand. Here is a wand. Here is also a wand, uh, a second wand. Uh, here is the chalice, the pentacle, the sword, a every element, anything you could need, you get it. Yeah. So this is really a wonderful week uh, for achieving things. And the third card, the pentacle, uh, four of pentacles, is about keeping your energy together, shielding your solar plexus somehow. I know this might, for some people who are listening to this, it might sound a little bit too esoteric, but I mean it in the old sense. I mean it like in the shamanic sense. Like really getting your energy back. Do not let it flow all the time through the internet or things like that. Um, or at least uh, it's not against the internet. It's 
uh, it belongs to our life. Yeah, it would be a little bit strange here making videos in the internet and saying, oh, the internet is a bad thing. So this is not what I mean. What I mean is um, not getting lost. Yeah, keeping your spirit to yourself. And um, yes, keep it to yourself and try to ground yourself in any way you like in this week. So these are the cards for this week. We will see each other next week again. Then there will be a little winter break. So um, yeah, that's what it is. And uh, first of all, I wish you a wonderful week to come.